Zhang Guifei drove the emperor to distraction. He built palaces for her, spent all his time with her, satisfied her every whim. Before long, his kingdom was bankrupt and ruined. Yang Guifei was an artful seductress who had a devastating effect on all the men who crossed her path. There were so many ways her presence charmed. The sense, the voice, the movements, the witty conversation, the artful glances, the embroidered gowns. These pleasurable details turned a mighty king into a distracted baby. So it's not just... For example, right? You look at me, right? There are details in me that I don't pay attention to. I could easily pay attention to detail, get this done, get some roll gain to, <laughs> to get this to grow, right? Um... Cut, like there there are details that I could do even in my apartment I could put a Buddha there right or a painting of somebody that I admire like maybe a painting of Sun Tzu painting of Martin Luther King and those details you're gonna associate me with those people and the little details that I have of those figures it, there's a chapter in the war in 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 the law of powers about symbolism where if you have symbols of saintly people though uh, 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 scatter around you're gonna get you're gonna um through like association you're gonna get a little bit you're gonna get a little bit of, a little bit of their aura and that little bit aura that i could have here will does enhance my image and it does change the way you perceive me in fact it increases my saintliness and you pay attention to what i'm saying more that's what religious youtubers have they have the cross over here they have jesus over here looking like that you know um and and they have positive quotes and all of those things give you get creates an aura around the person and 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 honestly that's not what makes a youtube channel right but it's those little details this that 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 it adds up to something real and something tangible so i gotta turn off this incense since time immemorial women have known that within the most apparently self-possessed man is an animal whom they can lead by filling his senses with the proper physical lures the key is to attack on as many fronts as possible do not ignore your voice, your gestures, your walk, your clothes, your glances. Yeah, I ignore my scent, right? Not, not that I stink, people. I just don't wear cologne. Like, like, what, dude? This is just insane. This is just, this is honestly mind blowing. It really is. Some of the most alluring women in history have so distracted their victims with sensual detail that the men fail to notice it is all an illusion. From the 1940s on into the early 1960s, Pamela Churchill Harriman had a I was gonna say pa Pamela Anderson. <laughs> series of affairs with some of the most prominent and wealthy men in the world. Averill Harriman, whom years later she married, Gianni Agnelli, heir to the Fiat fortune, Baron Ailey de Rothschild. What attracted these men and kept them enthralled was not her beauty or her lineage or her vivacious personality, but her extraordinary attention to detail. It began with her attentive look as she listened to your every word, soaking up your tastes. Once she found her way into your home, she would fill it with your favorite flowers, get your chef to cook that dish you had tasted only in the finest restaurant. Right, so it's almost like, yeah, you could have the, the chef have, have them cook your, their favorite meal, but that's not really going to make a difference. But then you do that and you do another thing, another thing and another thing and another thing and another thing and another thing. And it just adds up. So one detail is not enough. A lot of details is what creates a beautiful thing. You mentioned an artist you liked. A few days later, that artist would be attending one of your parties. She found the perfect antiques for you dressed in the way that most pleased or excited you and she did this without your saying a word she spied gathered information from third parties overheard you talking to someone else harriman's attention to detail had an intoxicating effect on all the men in her life it had something in common with the pampering of a mother there to bring order and comfort into their lives attending to their needs 
Life is harsh and competitive. Attending to detail in a way that is soothing to the other person makes them dependent upon you. The key is probing their needs in a way that is not too obvious, so that when you make precisely the right gesture, it seems uncanny, as if you had read their mind. And, and this, literally people, honestly, this paying attention to detail just comes down to effort. It, it really comes down to you just wanting, wanting it. It's as simple as wanting it. And, the, and wanting it usually comes with a lack of self-absorption, meaning... You do this only when you're not exclusively thinking of your desires and your insecurities. You got to feel secure enough to be able to step out of your own desires and think about what the other person wants. This is another way of returning your targets to childhood when all of their needs were met. In the eyes of women all over the world, Rudolf Valentino reigned as the great lover through much of the 1920s. The qualities behind his appeal certainly included his handsome, almost pretty face, his dancing skills, the strangely exciting streak of cruelty in his manner, but his perhaps most endearing trait was his time-consuming approach to courtship. His films would show him seducing a woman slowly, with careful details, sending her flowers, choosing the variety to match the mood he wanted to induce, taking her hand, lighting her cigarette, escorting her to romantic places, leading her on the dance floor. These were silent movies, and his audiences never got to hear him speak. It was all in his gestures. Men came to hate him, for their wives and girlfriends now expected the slow, careful Valentino treatment. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. You know, you might say, is our women like that now more than uh, still? Yeah, I think so. Even more than before. Men don't pay attention to detail. They really don't. They, they really don't. Um, wanting pum pum is just too much of an, an intense desire for most men that they just forget about the details and they just think about the over, the general. They think about the end, and they don't realize that you know victims want a a good story. They want a a romantic. Like almost like a like the way a movie goes, where it's it has its up its ups and downs, and men unfortunately, and I'm a, I I do I make that mistake too. We just get myopic and we just focus on one thing. We become too obvious. And women, I could understand why women. Some women like women because women. I, I think women just pay more attention to detail. You know, they're more romantic with it. I think women are just more possessive and like. Relationships with women, like women on women, I hear they're, they're, freak, they're pretty toxic. Valentino had a feminine streak. It was said that he wooed a woman the way another woman would. People, I, honestly, I'm not even, I, I have not listened to this. You might think I did. I haven't. This is my first time listening to it. <laughs> but femininity need not figure in this approach to seduction. In the early 1770s, Prince Grigory Potemkin began an affair with Empress Catherine the Great of Russia that was to last many years. Potemkin was a manly man, and not at all handsome, but he managed to win the Empress's heart by the many little things he did and continued to do long after the affair had begun. He spoiled her with wonderful gifts, never tired of writing her long letters, arranged for all kinds of entertainments for her, composed songs to her beauty. Yet he would appear before her barefoot, hair uncombed, clothes wrinkled. There was no kind of fussiness in his attention, which, however, did make it clear he would go to the ends of the earth for her. A woman's senses are more refined than a man's, to a woman, Yang Kui Fei's overt sensual appeal would seem too hurried and direct. What that means, though, is that all the man really has to do is take it slowly, making seduction a ritual full of all kinds of little things he has to do for his... And, and that's the thing. It's pretty much a change, change in perspective. We have to see seducing. and We have to, <laughs> we have to see... Um, wooing people as a ritual as a religious thing as almost invoking or trying to get in contact with another entity in another dimension and unfortunately we just 
you know, I do, I do the same thing. I'm not even acting like I'm different. We just don't do that. We're too hurried to get to the end goal, to get the poom poom. And we seduce the, per- the person, but they feel dissatisfied. They feel like they've been cheated. And it's because you didn't pay attention to detail. You didn't give them that tailored experience. We treat everyone the same. You know, we treat every new partner like we are. At, we go to the same bars. We take the, We have the same drinks. We dress the same way, and we almost have this. Almost like we almost have like a template that we try to put people and try to fit pe- everyone in. And you know, it's, it's kind of like this is why we love theater because theater, the. The actor or even the, the director has the audience in mind. And the best movies are the directors who, when they're making the movie, they have the audience in mind. They know whom they're making it for. So the details are very tailored made. Like for example, Godfather. Godfather is a movie that is there to, is tailored made to, 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 to almost like recreate the, the mafia life. And honestly, the Godfather is one of those movies where you just forget you're watching a movie. I'm not even kidding with you. The first time I watched The Godfather, I, I like the sensation that The Godfather gave me was that I wasn't aware that I wasn't that I was watching a movie. I I knew I was watching a movie, but I forgot that I was watching a movie. And that sensation, it was so unique to anything that I've ever watched. And when the movie ended, I was like, oh my god, that was the movie. <laughs> And, and be, because it was just so immersive, like in the Godfather, let me show you a, a, a scene. Godfather opening scene, Godfather wedding, right? Just, just look how detailed and how beautiful everything is. This is the first scene. So they're doing, they're having a wedding, right? This is like a wedding, and and just everything about it. It, it's it's in, it's it's in the backyard of, God, of the Godfather because it was in her house, but just everything. You, 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 honestly, you watch this, and it doesn't feel like a movie. Everything about it. You just watching it, and this the the dress, the girls playfully talking about another man's dick. What the fuck? Um. Which does happen, <laughs> right? And them dancing together, and then the little girl dancing there, you know, and the wife of the Godfather, which she looks completely beautiful. And then, then they're singing in Italian, the, the, the Italian, the hair, the classical hair look. She's not too skinny. She's not too overweight too. She looks like a real mother. Right, and, and you watch that, and honestly, like you just don't. And then the the, gra- the old uncle singing, like you you can see how you can see a family member doing that. And that is it's it's honestly everything in this film feels so real and authentic, aside from the action sequence. One hundred years from now, people will start this movie as a classic. Right, um, saw this for the first time on 50th na- anniversary. This moment really nailed the real life down to earth feeling that new movies just don't have anymore. Like it, it, and and it's because it's just. I like how at 137 you can tell exactly what he's singing about, even without speaking Italian. <laughs> right, he's going like like it's kind of like maybe sexual, right? But that's the beauty about it, people. It's just this movie, the real beauty of that movie is in the details in how Marlon Brandon acts. The acting is so detailed. Um, it's, it's, it's truly a, a beautiful thing. And this talks about it. Target. If he takes his time, he will have her eating out of his hand. Everything in seduction is a sign and nothing more so than clothes. 
It's not that you have to dress interestingly, elegantly, or provocatively, but that you have to dress for your target, mm -hmm. have to appeal to your target's tastes. When Cleopatra was seducing Mark Antony, and we're gonna leave this right here and finish it tomorrow, okay? Um, yeah, this was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful section. Um, if you guys wanna watch the rest of it, just become Patreon supporters. And if you don't do that, I'm gonna have to close the channel. Remember, it's only five bucks a month. It's a um, inflation-driven, um, gentrified coffee per month. That's all, just five bucks, okay?